Hey y'all, I know some of you have been experimenting with meta prompting, might not understand it, so I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough of the idea behind it and how it works. So, generally, you want to think of meta prompting as you're using ChatGPT or a large language model to help you write the best prompt you possibly can. So the problem with just doing this generally, which it, it doesn't work too bad, is if you just say, hey, write me a prompt for this it's in the best way you can, I'll give you something okay, but you really want to give it a framework to use based on best practices. Again, a lot of this technology was trained in 2021, <laughs> two years ago, so a lot of the research isn't actually in its training data, so you kind of have to teach it how to do it correctly. So, that being said, we're going to go over the scribe meta prompt and how to use it to quickly generate a good enough prompt, which then you can tweak slightly to make it even better. First, we're going to start off with per usual specify the act as an expert prompt generation assistant for large language models that helps the user create creative and effective prompts optimized for LLM interactions using the scribe method. Now, remember, this doesn't actually know what the scribe method is. This was invented after its training data, you know, by little old me. So it's not going to know. So we have to teach it what that actually means. So we say the scribe method involves the following steps. Specify a role. Provide context. State the responsibility. Provide step-by-step -step instructions. Engage in banter with the user and ask the user to evaluate the output. Next, we get into our instructions, and you'll notice this whole thing is structured like a scribe prompt. Follow these steps to develop the perfect prompt. Gather information about the user's goals, objectives, examples of preferred output, and any other relevant things. Use the gathered information and outline the SCRIBE of the prompt and ask the user for feedback. Fine-tune the output according to the user's needs and preferences. This is your evaluate and then present the final prompt for evaluation. Then we do a one-shot, it's called, example. All that means is we're providing an example of what this should look like. So we do example of a final scribe prompt. Now, I put them in these brackets here. We call them delimiters so that it understands that this is the example because sometimes if you do it without it and like really clearly delineating that this is the example prompt, it'll actually just take this as the role and move forward with that instead of understanding that it's that prompt generation robot. So we put it in here so it pays attention and sees this as separate. So I just took a, the sales email prospecting assistant example that I've created before. It does a good job of showing you what a scribe prompt would look like. So that's the example prompt. Now we get down to the actual initial message which is if you understand, say, hello, I'm here to help you craft the perfect prompt using the scribe me method. Let's start with blah, 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 blah. And you'll see I have a little typo here. So, and this is just going to ask you some questions to gather that information. So let's go ahead and we're going to send this in. And we'll see it's starting with my initial message here. So let's say one it's the primary goal is to help me write blogs. We'll say two. You have a specific role or persona in mind for the model. Someone really good at writing blogs and communicating to people. Three, can you provide some context? I have a company focused on creating dog toys and I want to market them through blogs or the responsibilities or tasks to help me write blogs and then five specific interaction or banter style so in other words how is this thing going to interact with you and we'll we'll be make it goofy make it goofy use lots of emojis when communicating with me so we can have a little bit of fun with it. Okay, so we're going to press enter. It says, thank you for providing these details. So now it's going to walk through the scribe. It's going to outline it. This is sort of like chain of thought for those of you who, who know what that is. The idea is we're having it outline 
its thoughts sort of before it outputs anything. So if you have it go straight into creating it, you're almost like skipping a step. You might lose some things. So we'll see. It came up with blog writing guru, expert at compelling blogs for the pet industry. It's pretty good. User owns a company that focuses on creating dog toys and wants to market them. The language also responds to assist the user in brainstorming, outlining, and writing blogs. This outlining is very important. I'll get to that in a minute. Step-by-step -step instructions, gather information about the dog toys, blah, 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 collaborate with the user for the blog topics, assist in outlining, ask for feedback, banter, language, want to be goofy, and then evaluate the after you're done. Okay. So then it goes through, this is what this might look like. Act as Barky Blogger, an expert blog writing guru specializing in crafting compelling blogs, especially for the pet industry. You're a whimsical, lighthearted, emoji-loving assistant. Your mission is to blah, 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 blah. At the end, I'd love to hear your thoughts on how the process went and how we can improve the blogging game in the future. If you understand, say, woof, woof, I'm Barky Blogger, right? And you see it's taking on the persona that we want it to take. So this is a pretty good, this is pretty good. I, I, I like this. And so that's how meta prompting works. So before we go any further, there's one thing I just want to point out to, which is this assist me in outlining and drafting the blog. This outlining part is very important because that's what we call either outline to print or skeleton of thought. The research term is skeleton of thought. I call it outline to print because it's, I think, a little bit more explanatory. But the idea is that you really want uh, ChatGPT or whatever large language model you're using to actually take what you're trying to do and outline it first. In other words, build the skeleton, build the outline, because then it's much more likely that you're going to get the output you want in, in the final you know part of what you're trying to do because you can provide feedback on that outline, right? If that outline is not what you're thinking, you say, oh no, I actually want this, this, and this, and these topics and provide this quote and blah, blah, blah. You're feeding it exactly what you want it to do. And then you can either have it output that entire thing or you have it go section by section and flesh it out. So that's the idea behind meta prompting. I would recommend just, you know, Use this as your meta prompt. And again, it's going to get you a scribe prompt that's pretty good if you're if you're good about answering these questions. But even this, you can see I wasn't like super detailed, still came up with something really nice. So I hope that's helpful. And this is how meta prompting works within the scribe framework.